Um, it's very hard uh, to get directly into the uh, WHO, the FCTC secretariat. They're not really easily influenceable. They don't feel accountable, particularly to ordinary people, to any kind of groups. They are accountable, however, to the conference of the parties. So I recommend if you're in Malaysia, you deal with the Malaysian government. If you're in um, Indonesia, you deal with the Indonesian government and you focus your energy on capitals. That's on the capital of, you know, basically the health departments in your country. Secondly, start early. I mean, for COP9, which is in November, I would say start now. OK, uh, countries form their positions well in advance um, and there'll be there'll be more to do in September. The, the WHO has to publish papers 60 days before um, the, uh, the the meeting. So that's around the 9th of September. Um, but you can't start early enough in this game. Um, third thing I'd say is that your experience counts. Don't think that it all has to be very technocratic. Uh, it doesn't. If you've given up smoking or vaping has changed your life, you can say so, and that will influence politicians. Um, there's, I would say there are just unlimited things that you can do in this space. You can write letters to governments, you can write letters to newspapers, uh, you can make it known uh, to the delegates who go to the FCTC. My advice is to get busy. But my very final piece of advice and this will help you get busy in a constructive way, help you to land your arguments, is to join a trade association or a consumer group. Trade association if you're a small business or a consumer group if you're a vapor and you want to do something. Because they will help you orientate your way around the system and help you to land your experience with the people who count in the right way and at the right time. And a little bit of money put into those groups is a good idea. So pay up, get your hand in your pocket and pay some subscriptions. But that will help you to be effective.